Sometimes it's useful to be able to get a response from a user when there's a choice to be made, like, do you want to delete a file? Do you want to enable this articulation? Do you want to load this sample map? That kind of thing. And an easy way to do that is to use the yes, no window. So we can write engine.show yes, no window. We can give it a title. Just put my title in here. We can give it a string which takes into account Heise's markdown syntax. So if you want to make the text look fancy, you can implement the markdown. We'll just put some text in here. This is some text. And it requires a callback function. And this is not an inline function. This is a normal function, like you'd use for a paint routine or a mouse callback. So we give it a function. And the function is actually going to be given the response of the user. So if the user answers yes to the pop-up, the variable in here will have the value of 1. And if they answer no, it will have the value of 0. So I always call mine response. But you could give it any name you want. It could just be R or something like that. And now in here we can put an if statement. We can say if response. And then we'll console.print. The user clicked yes. Else console.print. The user clicked no. And I'll hit F5 and it's going to pop up with our message box straight away. And now I can choose yes or no, or in this case, OK, cancel, but it's the same thing. So if I select cancel, it's going to say the user clicked no. And I'll hit F5 again. And if I click OK, the user clicked yes. All right, that was a quick and easy way to get a response from a user. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this helpful. I'll see you next time.